Sell or be sold. Find your path to sales mastery. Imagine a key that could unlock endless opportunities, multiple doors to success, and an entire universe of potential waiting to be explored. That's what excelling in sales can do for you. Now, just think about having this key in your pocket. But how can you acquire this key, and where do you even start? This speed read to sell or be sold tells you exactly what you need to do. It's like a personal guidebook that can show you that the art of selling is more than just business, it's a life skill. It breaks down the essence of selling into easy-to-grasp commandments, traits, processes, and best practices. Selling is a life skill. Have you ever danced with words, leading and guiding a conversation to the rhythm of your goals? That's selling in its purest form, a subtle yet powerful life skill that affects everything from your personal relationships to your career path, regardless of the field you're in. Contrary to popular belief, selling isn't confined to the walls of a marketplace. It far exceeds the boundaries of business and commerce. It's the ability to persuade and influence decisions, which ultimately determines success in relationships, business, and overall well-being. Consider this, many lines of work, in some way or another, rely on sales skills. Politicians, coaches, public speakers, bankers, they all have one thing in common, they need to persuade others, be it to vote, to invest, to listen, or to play hard. These skills are the bedrock of success across all walks of life. There's a common misconception that paints a rather bleak picture of sales. You've heard it all, the unreliable income, the long and erratic hours, the stereotype of the aggressive and manipulative salesperson. But these are just myths, not the reality of a career in sales. In truth, mastering sales opens up a world of freedom and financial rewards. So, here's the real challenge, shift your mindset. Don't view sales skills as something reserved for a select few. Approach them like a professional, with a commitment to learn, master, and excel. If you've been struggling to get the outcomes you desire in life, it's time to stop making excuses. The secret to success, in any endeavor, lies in honing your sales skills. Make a decision, right now, to commit yourself to learning everything about selling at a world-class level. Your potential for greatness, prosperity, and freedom is immense, but it hinges on your willingness to elevate your sales game. The choice, as always, is yours. The 10 Sales Commandments In the high-stakes game of sales, success is not just about playing your cards right, it's about knowing the rules of the game. These 10 sales commandments are your ace in the hole, guiding you through the sales world with confidence and finesse. The first commandment, radiate positivity. Be the most upbeat, confident person your customer has ever met. People gravitate toward those who uplift them, so maintain this attitude. Steer clear of negativity and surround yourself with positive people. The second commandment, suit up for success. Success in sales requires treating it not just as an option, but as an ethical duty and obligation. Relentlessly commit to pursuing sales excellence. This means dissecting every sale you didn't close, taking responsibility, continuously honing your skills, and dressing like the part you want to play. The third commandment, envision success. Can you see the client shaking hands on a deal even before it happens? If you can't picture a successful sale, chances are it might not occur. The fourth commandment, believe in what you sell. To sell effectively, you must be sold completely on the product or service yourself. Your belief in its value should be so strong that you'd gladly pay top dollar for it yourself. This unwavering conviction is contagious and crucial in persuading others. The fifth commandment, understand your unique value. What sets you apart is rarely the product itself, but how you understand and connect with people. Know what your client values and needs. Then position yourself as the salesperson who can best deliver on those valued elements. The Sixth Commandment, Always Agree This might sound counterintuitive, but always agreeing with the client opens doors. It builds rapport and makes them more receptive to your suggestions. Even if they're wrong, find a way to agree and put yourself in their position first before steering the conversation in a more suitable direction. The Seventh Commandment, Elevate Your Demonstrations 
Go beyond the expected to show your offer's exceptional value. Convince your customers that it's worth far more than its asking price, as people will only spend a large amount of money when they believe they are getting even greater value in return. The Eighth Commandment, Value Time Modern buyers are often rushed, so it's important to be mindful of their time. Strive to streamline the sales process without sacrificing quality interaction. Similarly, treat your own time as a precious resource. Optimize every moment for productivity, which could mean choosing to network with potential clients during lunch instead of hanging out with colleagues. The Ninth Commandment, Assume the Sale. Confidently assume that the customer is ready to purchase rather than asking them questions that allow room to say no. Specifically, phrases like please sign here and follow me and I'll show you guide the client toward closing without giving them room to back out. The Tenth Commandment, Persistence is Key. Don't just ask once without tenacity. Securing the client's signature and finalizing the transaction is the defining moment of a sale. It's when true value is delivered. This demands relentless perseverance and being prepared to confront all objections or stalling tactics that arise. Each of these commandments builds not just a skill, but a mindset, crafting you into not just a salesperson, but a sales maestro. The makings of an excellent salesperson like a skilled captain braving unpredictable seas, excellent salespeople navigate the complex waters of customer needs and market trends. Their compass? A unique set of traits that guide them to success, no matter how choppy the waters. The first among these traits is commitment. Dedicate every ounce of your being to mastering your craft. This level of commitment means immersing yourself in intense study and practice with no room for half measures. Having a generous spirit is also required in the realm of sales. It's not just about closing deals, it's about serving others, exceeding customer expectations, and anticipating their needs. When you serve rather than sell, you're not just offering a product, you're offering a solution, a service that's unparalleled. This mindset sets you apart, allowing you to command higher prices and avoid the pitfalls of price wars. When it comes to rejection, a word that often strikes fear into the hearts of many, great salespeople embrace it. They see each no as a stepping stone to an eventual yes. Remember, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. The key lies in persistence and continuing to ask questions and push for sales, even when the first response is not favorable. But how do you seal the deal? The answer lies in the directness of your approach. The truth is, congeniality alone won't clinch a sale. It's the act of explicitly asking for the order that turns prospects into customers. This means overcoming the false belief that customers will volunteer to make a purchase without being prompted. Taking action is another crucial trait. Success in sales, and in life, demands more than just the right amount of action. It requires what might seem like an unreasonable, almost insane level of effort. This massive action creates a tide of opportunities, and though that may seem overwhelming, it's a sign that your efforts are paying off. Effective salespeople also excel in the art of questioning. By questioning, we don't mean bombarding the customer with queries. Instead, ask direct, probing questions and insistently pursue answers. This skill helps you to steer conversations productively and uncover vital information, guiding your negotiations and sales to success. To be an excellent salesperson is to know that price, which is often perceived as a major barrier in sales, is actually a minor hurdle. The real challenge lies in building the customer's confidence in the product. If they believe that your product is the solution they need, the price becomes secondary. That's why you need to convince them of the value you're offering. Self-perception plays a pivotal role in a salesperson's success too. Those who view their work as ethical and beneficial are more likely to succeed than those who harbor doubts about the integrity of their profession. Pride in one's role is not just beneficial, it's essential. Lastly, continuous training and preparation are non-negotiable. The sales landscape is ever-evolving, and resting on one's laurels is not an option. Training should be practical, focused on immediate gains, and integrate the latest strategies. Avoid the fluff of motivational hype and focus on tangible sales strategies instead. The journey to becoming a great salesperson is multifaceted. 
It requires a blend of multiple traits, from personal commitment to continuous learning and training. Like a well-oiled machine, these traits work in tandem to propel you towards success in the competitive world of sales. The Ultimate Sales Process Crafting a sale is much like preparing a gourmet meal. Just as chefs select premium ingredients, perfect their timing, and present their dishes with flair, so the art of selling demands a similarly refined process. This sales process is designed to satisfy three key players, the customer, the salesperson, and the company. It should be transparent and advertisable. Anything that even remotely hints at manipulation is promptly removed. The process should also move quickly out of respect for the customer's limited time. A lengthy, underhanded sales tactic is the fastest way to lose clients' interest. There are five key steps that make up the perfect sales process. Step number one. Greet the customer briefly. Small talk is a relic of the past. Today's customers appreciate a direct approach that quickly segues into the heart of the matter. Step number two. Uncover the customer's wants and needs. This is where your questions become a powerful tool, slicing through the surface to reveal the core of their purchasing motivation. Understanding their problem is half the battle won. Step number three. Select and demonstrate the right product for the customer based on what they said was important to them. Using the insights gathered, tailor your presentation such that it becomes a compelling narrative that resonates with the customer's key buying motives. Step number four. Create a proposal. Be upfront with quotes and terms, offering the customer all the information they need to make an informed decision. Even if they seem hesitant and unready, this step is crucial. Step number five. Close the deal or exit the sales discussion. Here, your skill in overcoming objections and sealing the deal is paramount. But remember, if the sale isn't meant to be, exiting the discussion politely is just as important. This transparent, five-step sales process is crafted to enhance the customer's experience, providing a transparent, efficient, and compelling journey from initial greeting to closing the deal. Best practices for overcoming selling obstacles embarking on a career in sales can feel like navigating a labyrinth filled with challenges and twists at every turn. But fear not. Let's examine some of these common hurdles and discover how you can overcome them. One major hurdle is dealing with intense competition. When you're in a market brimming with competitors, it's easy to get lost in the crowd, right? Wrong. This is where you can shine. Instead of joining the race to the bottom with price cuts, why not stand out? Offer something unique, exceptional products, stellar service, and a personality that makes customers stick to you like glue. Remember, fixating on competitors is a futile exercise. It's your offerings that are the true north star of your success journey. Addressing the dreaded unreturned call is another challenge. It's a common scenario in sales, but it's not always about a lack of interest. People might be swamped with work or simply forget. So don't let silence dishearten you. Keep reaching out, but with patience and understanding. Their non-response isn't a reflection of you personally. You may also face difficulties in providing appropriate answers to your customers' inquiries. If you're unsure about something, a simple, great question, let me find out for you, can work wonders. Remember, it's not just what you say that counts, but how you say it. The next time around, make sure to come prepared for every question, every objection. Your responses should shine with credibility and positivity. After all, effective communication in sales is non-negotiable. Another common setback in sales is losing a deal to a competitor. Sure, it can sting, but it's not the end. Instead of wallowing in defeat or pointing fingers, take a step back. Analyze, learn, and adapt. Seeking feedback from the one that got away can offer invaluable insights. Approach the matter with grace, not as a desperate sales pitch, but as a quest for growth. Now, let's tackle the elephant in the room, financial insecurity. The world of commissions can indeed be daunting. But here's a thought, is the traditional path of chasing a stable corporate job really less risky? Think back to the 2008 recession and its aftermath of job cuts. It's a stark reminder that the only true financial security comes from within. 
Embrace being an innovator, an entrepreneur. Your ideas, your drive, that's the real financial safety net. It's best to take charge of your own future. The world of sales is filled with both challenges and opportunities. With the right mindset and strategy, you can turn every hurdle into a stepping stone toward success. Ready to take on the sales world? Go forth and conquer. Final summary Mastering sales is a learnable skill that unlocks success across all areas of life. As you embark on your sales journey, ingrain the Ten Commandments into your mindset. Complement these with the essential traits that set excellent salespeople apart, like persistence, directness, and pride in your work. Once you have the foundations in place, put into action the five-step sales approach. Then, equipped with the appropriate skills and a positive view of yourself, you will be well prepared to handle any objections, outshine competitors, and overcome the uncertainties inherent in commission-based sales. Now you stand at a crossroads with two paths before you. Will you continue down the worn trail of doubt, stereotypes, and half-hearted attempts at selling? Or will you blaze a new trail by committing to sales mastery? The choice is yours, but one leads to the life you desire, while the other loops back to regret. So why not begin your exhilarating journey right now? Embrace these lessons, let them seep into your very essence. Then walk boldly toward your sales summit. The rewards of freedom, prosperity, and self-belief await you at the peak. Go ahead, claim them. You already have everything you need to embark on this life-changing quest for sales greatness. Thanks for listening and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.